In this video, we'll look at what happens when we have HClO3 in water. So the first thing we need to know is that HClO3, chloric acid, that's a weak acid. And we can do that by memorizing the strong acids. So here's a list of our strong acids, and we don't see HClO3. We see HClO4, no HClO3. So this must be a weak acid. Because it's a weak acid, it's not going to break apart completely. Only some of this will break apart into its ions. So this H here in front, that's what makes it an acid. Only some of these hydrogen atoms are going to come off. So hydrogen, that has a one plus charge. And then the chlorate ion, if you look this up on a table of ions, that has a one minus. So only some of these H pluses will break off. So we'll have H plus, and then we'll have the chlorate ion, plus ClO3 minus. So because only some are breaking off, this is going to be considered an equilibrium. So we'll put another arrow up there. So some of these are breaking off to give us this. Some of these are coming back together to form these compounds. But overall, there's no net change. It's an equilibrium. So we should write AQ after each one of these ions because they are dissolved in this water here. Put an AQ here. Sometimes you'll see people put H2O above here. We have aqueous. It kind of tells us that it's dissolved in water. So that's what happens when we have HClO3 plus H2O. One last thing. This H plus here, it's aqueous. It's in water. And it's actually going to join onto a water molecule. So the H plus will join with the H2O. And you get H3O plus. This is called the hydronium ion. So sometimes you'll see this written H3O plus. Sometimes you'll see it H plus. We consider them to be equivalent in chemistry. They're the same thing. But you might see it either way. So this is Dr. B with chloric acid plus water, HClO3 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.